Okay, we're going to look at the situation where we're applying a force to an object, and we're applying that force at an oblique angle to the surface that it's on. Now, there's going to be some of this force. There's going to be some of this force that's directed down towards the surface, and that's just going to add to the force of gravity. And if we've got a good integrity surface, of course, it's going to push back, and that's just going to add to our normal force, and ultimately, that's going to make our friction greater. So what we want to do is we want to resolve this force into two components. We want to resolve it into what we would call an X component, which is parallel to the surface, and a Y component, which is perpendicular and down in this case. So, if we have a look here, here's our applied force. We have a force parallel to the surface in the X direction, and we have a second component of that force, which is directed downwards. Now, provided I know my angle, I can actually just use SOHCAHTOA to find out what the X component and the Y component are. There we go. There's our triangle. We have our applied force. We've got our angle. We've got a Y component, and we've got an X component. So, if I remember that sine theta is just equal to... So if I just uh, remember that sine theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, then I can find my Y component just by rearranging that equation. Ta-da! Similarly, if I remember that cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, I can similarly rearrange this equation to find my x component. And it's just that simple.